Hi guys, it's Amy from thecrazycraftlady.com. Today I'm sharing with you a project, a DIY project in my kids' playroom that I probably should have done a long time ago. I painted this giant chalkboard in a custom navy blue color um, for them. You can see they've already decorated it. Black chalkboard uh, paint has been around for a really long time. It's one of my absolute favorite crafting supplies because it seems like you can use it on just about anything. But why limit yourself to black when you can paint a chalkboard in, I mean this quite literally, any custom color that you want. So if you want to see how to make your own chalkboard in any color, keep watching. I originally discovered this technique when I made this magnetic chalkboard for my kids in a bright and fun coral color. I'll link to that project below. This time I decided to use navy blue paint to better coordinate with our home's decor. Start by clearing a wall, fill in any nail holes if needed, wipe down the wall if it's dusty or dirty, then tape off a giant rectangle, whatever size you like. I just used regular old blue painter's tape. Grab a large level to make sure you are making perfectly level tape lines. I also went pretty large on this one just because we had the space and I want my kids and their friends to have plenty of space to create. When that's finished, grab a roller and apply a coat of primer. This is an optional step. I just did it because I was using low quality paint sample paint on top of a wall that was painted before by the previous owners when they lived here. Then it's time for your color. Like I said, I went with navy. This one in particular is called Naval by Sherwin-Williams. This is the same color that I used on our bathroom vanity update, and it's one of my favorite navy paint colors. The people at Sherwin-Williams agree because they just announced that navel will be their 2020 color of the year. I used a foam roller to get the smoothest coverage. Since I used such a dark color, I needed to apply three coats, allowing the paint to dry in between coats. Now for the magic! How do you turn this painted rectangle into a chalkboard? Rust-Oleum makes clear chalkboard paint. It goes on kind of like white craft glue, a bit opaque, then it turns clear as it dries. This allows your custom color underneath to show through. You will want to use two to three coats of the chalkboard paint to get complete coverage. Peel off the tape at an angle when your final coat of paint is still a bit tacky and not fully dried. I let everything dry overnight before building my chalkboard frame. Go to your local hardware store and buy enough casing to completely surround your chalkboard. If you buy the pre-primed stuff, you just need to add two coats of trim paint before installing. I used Sherwin-Williams paint in pure white since that's what I have used in other areas of my home. Use a level to make sure your white trim is straight and even, then secure each board to the wall with five to seven nails. A nail gun came in pretty handy here, but you could easily use just a hammer and nails. I opted for this style of frame since no miter cuts were required. Then you will need a piece of cove trim cut to the width of the inside of your chalkboard. You will actually install the trim backwards. This way it creates a little lip for pieces of chalk to sit in. I just secured the trim with wood glue and held it in place with painter's tape until the glue dried. Wait a full three days before using your new chalkboard. Also be sure to season the board. Rub the side of a piece of chalk over the whole board and then wipe away any excess with a clean, dry cloth. This will allow you to erase chalk art easier without leaving a shadow of the old image behind. That's it, a new giant chalkboard wall that matches the paint color theme in the rest of our house, and my kids love it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe below so you never miss a crafty moment. Thanks for watching.